Hi guys, welcome here again to another news. A lot is actually happening presently now in Nigeria as we've had Simon Epa, you know, uh, writing to the UN and also naming himself as Prime Minister and list other officials. Of course, you might be wondering what is actually happening here. It's no other thing than the Namdi Kano's disciple Simon Epa is announcing himself as the Prime Minister of Biafra government in exile. And not just that, he is also you know, listing other ministers and office holders. Now he has written to the UN, named himself as Prime Minister, and now lists other officials. What is your take to this? Well, we would like you to share it with us via the comment section on this present development according to the news. And I'm the Kano's disciple, Epa writes UN announced himself as Prime Minister of Biafra government in exile, list other ministers and office holders. Simon Epa, the self-proclaimed disciple of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Enam Dekano has described himself as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. Simon Epa to the United Nations General Assembly dated April 13th, 2023, which he personally signed, urged the global community to recognize Biafra Republic government in exile, which he said was established to undertake the political and administrative governance of the Biafra nation from outside the Biafra territory. He also appealed to the UN to prevail on the government of Nigeria to unconditionally release Namdi Kanu and all Biafrans lay in a, a held captive in any dog zone in Nigeria and conduct a peaceful referendum to enable a peaceful and bloodless exist of Biafra from Nigeria, you know, bloodless e exit of Biafra from Nigeria. According to the letter obtained by Sarah reporters on Thursday, Epa stated that the indigenous people of Biafra set up the exile government in their uh, determination to exit the Nigerian state, which in a while enumerating pardon, the plethora of reasons why IPOP wants the southeast region to exit from Nigeria. He said the Biafra government in exile will undertake diplomatic and foreign relationships, arrangements, and agreements, negotiations, and parts with other nations and interest organizations of the world on behalf of Biafra people. They are to be accorded all diplomatic privileges as due to any government official of their respective level. Biafra people through their governments in exile are sourcing for support from all nations of the world to assist its exit Nigeria peacefully, he added. According to the letter to the United Nations General Assembly, an election was conducted and Mazi Simon Epa was elected as the Prime Minister together with other Biafra governments in exile officials, namely Head of Finance, Mazi Okechuku Nkeri, Deputy Head of Finance, Honorable Lady Ladi Azuki, you know, Azuka, pardon, Charles Ongokwo, Defense Minister, Honorable Ladi Azuka Charles Ongokwo, Homeland, Dr. M. O. and Professor C. O. N. Diplomatic and Foreign Affairs, Dr. Sa, Agu Bosim, Deputy Professor Anthony, Mwabuike Unwiboko, Coastal Region Orientation Coordinator, Madam Anreju Josephine Erewa, other our Group Secretary, Victor Admi, and Dr. Ruby Unadi, Deputy of Planning and Strategy, Paul Adinam, Information Media and Communication, Dr. Florence Agie and Mazi Raf, 
Chiamaka Ejiri, Secretary of the World Ibo Union, Madam Undirika Military, Professor Anthony Mwaniboike, Mazi Solomon Nkocha, Ministry of Health, Dr. Ngozi Orabuize, Dr. Ofoma, Dr. Sam, and Dr. Mora Education, Dr. Ruby Nadi Oil and Gas, Dr. Ngozi and Ima Maduabu Pharmacy and Laboratory Science, Board of Nursing, you know, Board of Nursing, Dr. Benedict, Dr. Florence Agie and Transport and Logistics, Amoibi, you know, Amobi and uh, what is your take to this? Can you just imagine this uh, funny situation happening or oh, in Nigeria? Can you just imagine? Honestly, it is hard to believe. Just look at the list of ministers that has been appointed to govern and pilot the affair of the Biafra uh, nation in exile, the minister of Biafra government in exile, the list of other ministers and office holders as we've had, and the self-acclaimed Nabdi Kano disciple Simon Epa announces himself as the prime minister. What is your take to this? A lot is actually happening presently in Nigeria, and I think something needs to be done on these issues. Of course, we know that the Biafrans have been calling for, you know, the breaking up of, of Nigeria. They want to leave. They want to break up with this country. But look at this present situation. Ekpa, Prime Minister, Peter Obi, Minister of Information. What is this? This is a reaction from Awo Tunsin. I've just reacted to this and said, this is quite funny. We have Epa, we have Prime Minister, we have Peter Obi, we have Minister of Information. What is happening in Nigeria? We also have another reaction from Oladimo saying that this is a great development. The Igbo people are living in Nigeria and indeed, Southwest region shall be free from insults. What is your take to this? Thank God, though, Igbos are living in Lagos. I beg, let them pack their load and leave our state. Then we can get rest of mind. As you can see, we have a lot of people who are rejoicing about the exits of the Igbos. But do you think that will be a development on the side of the Southwesterners and even, you know, the Yorubas? Because as we all know, these people tend to have, you know, a big businesses. They have lucrative businesses around the world. And when it comes to business, these people are always, you know, flourishing. You see them with big supermarkets, big shops, and, you know, they are always booming when it comes to businesses. Now, this kind of people live in some parts of Nigeria. Don't you think it would affect the economy there? Well, who would like you to share take with us via the comment section? Don't forget that Simon Ekwa has announced himself as the Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile and also listed other officials as he wrote to the United Nations. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you on other news. Bye for now.